Hello. Hey everybody. Cindy here. How is everyone tonight? Get this up a little higher. So I see we have some friends hopping on. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Let me get the comments up here on my phone. How are we doing tonight? There we go. Say hey in the chat so I know I'm not just talking to myself. I think I saw, yeah, live chat. There we go. I see Patty and Pam and Holly and Stephanie. Welcome, Dinah. Hey, I see some names that were on our business basics call last night. Thanks so much for joining that. Um, yes, and Michelle and Alyssa. Hey, Carla. Welcome, welcome, Rita. Okay, so if you saw my little teaser picture, I'm great tonight, Amy. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm excited to do a couple little projects. First, I have this little wood bunny from Dollar Tree. This is actually two of them. I don't know if you can tell. Up there on the ears, you can tell. Oh, yeah, and right here, because it's not all the way stained together. I must not have put enough glue right there. But I did wood glue two of these together. I took the tail and the earpiece off the bottom one and wood glued them together. I'm going to have to do a little bit more up there. But this one in particular was pretty thin, so I wanted to make it a little more substantial. And um, we're going to paint this. And I want I pulled out lace and berries. This is a really pretty pattern stencil. You see it there? Kind of dainty. And we're going to have to do it diagonal to get him, her, him or her to fit. And then I have some different florals, I don't know, about adding to the bottom. And then I have some Scrabble tiles in case we want to add the word spring on there. So the bunny is one project. The other project is I wanted to use this brand new carrot patch stencil. It's five by seven on our white distressed shelf sitter, but I'm going to actually paint this. I'm going to paint it with celery. I want it to be this light green and we're going to do something fun with this one too. So if you guys are excited to do some crafting, I see everybody hopping on. Awesome. All right. So I kind of want these to go together. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll paint this bunny like pink, but I'll do the pattern in. I thought I had a sage green. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> like I know I have a sage green. Um, this chalk paste, um, was actually released last spring and then it went away is coming back very soon. So I thought this, the pattern in this color would match, would go well with the background of this sign. So we're going to first paint the bunny. Hey, Stephanie. And we're going to paint this background and we can chat a little bit while we're doing that. So... What is sage green? Um, it's kind of like a light, this is actually called vintage sage. It's kind of like, it matches pretty well with Waverly's celery color. It's kind of a pale green that has maybe a little bit of gray in it. So um, let's go down here so you can kind of see where I'm painting, but I can still see you. Let me come up a little bit, even more. And there we go. So how is everybody doing? Hey, Linda. So we're going to paint the bunny with ballet slipper by Waverly. And we're going to paint our shelf sitter with celery. Let me do that one first because it's going to be pretty easy. I love this color. So my idea is that these two could kind of be together as a set if you wanted on a shelf or whatever. Welcome, welcome Verizon. Oh, hi Verizon. Yes, welcome. If you are new, um, I did put the link to my link tree that has all my links, my Magnolia website, 
Um, I also put the link to my Facebook group that is um, talking about the business basics of the Magnolia Business Opportunity. Some of you, I'm recognizing names, were on my Zoom Live or Facebook Live that I did last night about the business opportunity. So if you are interested in more information, you can go to that Facebook group and ask to join. Um, I just post information there and sometimes record little videos about um, all the pros, all the advantages of being a Magnolia creator, like getting your product at a discount. This is a great time to join because people are excited for crafting for spring. We have new products releasing. And I run, at least once a month, I run a Facebook party for all my new creators that want to just invite some people and I help them introduce their friends, family, acquaintances, to what Magnolia is. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. This is such a pretty color, but I'm seeing here that I think I wanna go ahead and do the edges because otherwise it's gonna look sloppy. And you guys know I don't like sloppy work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go around these edges. I don't really care as much about the back, but these sides you can kind of see. So let's get them painted, shall we? I love the new paintbrushes. Next time I'm at Walmart, I'm getting more. I think they're awesome. And I'm glad because some of my older ones um, have started getting really stiff and like hard to hard to get all the way clean. So now I don't feel so bad about throwing those out because I can replace them for cheaper. Or I don't want to say cheaper because these are good brushes, but less money. All right, painting around the edges is going to take longer than it did to actually paint the bunny. But that's okay because it's going to look good. in here. Does anybody else paint all the edges too? Just figure I might as well do it now rather than decide later that I wanted to do it and then I have to get everything out again. So all right so ballet slipper we've got our bunny painted. I'm gonna leave the tail. I'm probably gonna paint it white. I have another idea to put a big flower there for the tail. Um, but we'll see. All right. This one is going to need another coat. I think. Hey, Sean. Oops. All right, so let's just quick dry this so we can do another coat. It is such a pretty color. Yeah, I can see a little bit of streaks, so I'm going to just go ahead and do I'm going to do another coat. Uh, this is called celery. It's a very light green, also by Waverly. I love all of their greens. So there's celery and moss, and then there's 
fern, which is more like a green green, you know, like kind of a Christmassy green. All right, let's let that dry. I'm done with the brush. You love last night. Oh, good, Sean. I'm glad. Let me know when you're ready to talk, girl. Okay, I think my pattern stencil fell, so let me grab that. Okay. This is probably going to be dry pretty soon. Oops. My phone is falling over. Oh, yeah, the blues are pretty too. Uh, those brushes with the green handles are from Walmart. Um, you get two big ones for $2.98, and then I got... Uh, this set of three for also $2.98, and they're good brushes. Yes, thank you, Christy. Okay, our bunny is dry, but I want to smooth it before we stencil. No, Dinah, you don't have to do anything. Yep, Patty's a creator. You can um, just be a creator to get your product at a discount. You don't ever have to sell anything to anyone if you don't want to. You don't have to go live. I know there's some other companies that I've heard they that you have to go live. You have to do certain things. Not so with Magnolia. Ooh, I love that. That is 400 grit sandpaper, and it is the best for just making your, your paint and your surface really, really smooth. It just helps the stencil lay as flat as possible. Now, I do have this little raised area for the ear. Um... And what I'm gonna do, I have used this stencil before, so I'm just gonna maybe fuzz it once on my shirt. Um, what are we calling about? Stephanie? Stephanie, what are you calling about? I missed something. Oh, Amy, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, to get your kit ordered? You kept getting an error message. You know what, Stephanie, if you want to call me, I can help you walk through that. All right, I'm going to lay this down. I'm not going to worry about the tail. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be so pretty. What's going to be tricky is the part around that raised part of the ear. But I think, I think if I press this down really well and then come do it again right before I stencil there, it'll, it'll work out. Usually, Stephanie, what the problem is, is you're not putting in all the information maybe that they want. All right, and I need to stir this. Yes, you can do shirts. Um, I wore a shirt yesterday. Actually, a lot of times I wear shirts that I have stenciled. Um, if you look back at some of my past videos, you'll see some. But you do use ink, that's correct. Ink can be heat set then, and then it is permanent. All right, I don't like, I feel like you guys can't see a whole lot of what I'm doing. There, that's maybe a little bit better. User error. 
Yeah, send me an email at monarchmomdiy.com. We could even do it um, after I get done tonight if you want. Uh, but Amy, yes, to answer your questions, the new episodes of The Chosen, we went and saw episodes four, five, and six of season four. They just came out in the theater today, and yes. And now I'm like, oh, I have to wait two weeks for the last the last two episodes of this season, but it's getting, it's getting intense. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, especially if you haven't watched any of it yet, but this is the halfway point now. The series is supposed to be seven seasons long, and where I personally am more than halfway through season four, so yep. All right, I love this color. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the pink. So I'm just dragging it across the stencil. I think I did the ear pretty good. We'll see when we peel it up. And I'm just gonna go right up to the tail as close as I can get, because it is kind of raised. Well, it is raised, not kind of raised, it is. And then we went to this little hole in the wall Mexican restaurant that we've never been to that a friend told us about. And literally there were like three tables inside. I think it's mostly people do drive through, but it was really, really good Mexican food. All right. Oh, it's so dainty looking. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I gotta pick it up and show you. Ah, without touching it, Cindy. There we go. Isn't that pretty? See, it's like a grayish green. And let me set this down. When you do um, a pattern stencil like this around a shape, sometimes you'll get a little excess, but I just, I just rub my finger, a little excess of the paste on the edge, but I just wipe that. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you guys see that? Is this so cute? So cute. Oh, Christy, we are talking about The Chosen. Um, if you didn't know, my husband is a pastor. I mean, not that that really uh, means that we have to love The Chosen, but we do. It's a TV show, or not a TV show. It's a crowdfunded show um, about the life of Jesus, and their their goal is to show an authentic, an authentic Jesus. Um, anyway, so season four, the first three episodes came out two weeks ago. We went and saw those in the theater, and then the next three episodes came out tonight. And that's my sweatshirt that I'm wearing here. Yeah, you can watch the first three seasons on, what did we say, Peacock, and they have an app that's free that you can watch all the episodes. It's just called The Chosen if you look it up on your app store. It does look like lace, doesn't it? Yes. That's right, Patricia. You're the one that found out today that it was on it was on Peacock. All right, so let's see if I can get some of the pink off of this. We want to smooth out our celery green here on our shelf sitter. And I'm probably gonna go a little heavier around the edges to get that more distressed look back. So this is a surface that we sell on, that I sell on my Magnolia website. And I love that it's two-sided. All right.
grab another little paper towel. I don't know. I, I thought about, well, for sure I'm going to paint it white. I do have some cotton balls upstairs. I had another idea, but it might be too big and obnoxious. Hello, Marcella. Okay, so for this one, I want to use the brand new carrot patch stencil, but I'm not going to stencil the carrots. And I'll show you why, because I want to add something there. This time, let's grab our tacky towel and we'll fuzz this just once or twice. Get a little bit of lint on the back so it doesn't stick too much to our surface. Okay, and I'm just going to center this stencil on our surface. Just kind of eyeball it and press it down. Now, I have to decide what colors I'm going to use. I pulled out a darker green, fern green, and black and white. Um, so it says carrot patch, organic bunny bait, open daily, and then it's got the 25 cents down here. Um, so let's see. What do I want to use where? I could also maybe use, um, I don't think I want to use pink. So this is what I want to glue to my sign where the stenciled carrots are. I made this a couple weeks ago on a YouTube video. I might lighten up the carrots. They're kind of bright. Um, but I want to glue that there. I thought that'd be fun instead of stenciling the, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Blue Heart. Orange for the carrot word. Or I might just do all of carrot patch in orange. Okay, so we'll do that. I think I want to go around with the slightly darker green. This is called fern green. So kind of a green on green for this border that goes around. Just spreading it on with the squeegee into the mesh. And it's going to go through the stencil onto our surface. All right, and let's do carrot patch. in orange. Okay. Um, all right, I think I'm going to do the organic. And Open daily in white. And then we'll do the bunny bait and 25 cents in black. Because I do have a black and white gingham bow on these carrots that I made out of clothespins. So I think those will all look good together.
All right. So let's do our little peel and reveal. I maybe should have fuzzed this a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna pull it actually this way. A little easier to grab onto. Oh, it's so cute, except that, oh, I see. So I'm gonna show you what happened. It's okay because I kind of like the distressed look, but because I didn't fuzz it quite enough, you can see where the adhesive of the stencil pulled up a little bit of the paint. Um, I don't mind it. I, I don't think it looks bad. And I like how the colors turned out. What do you guys think? And then we're going to put our carrots here. Look how cute that's going to be. Um, someone was asking what fern green is. That's this darker green chalk paste that I used around the edges. Okay. Oh, gosh. Sometimes you don't get the lid quite lined up. All right, so let's let this dry. I love that. What do you guys think? Let me know. Thank you. Yeah, I had to put someone in timeout because I was... Oh, no. Do you guys see that on your end in the chat? Okay, had to just clean up a little bit. Of some chalk paste where I didn't want it. All right, uh, fuzzing the stencil. Hey, Mickey, welcome. Um, that just means I'm getting, because they are sticky, they're adhesive so you can use them over and over. This one, this was the first time I had used it. So, um, yeah, Amy, I, yes. The second time I did a timeout. Um, so you're just getting a little bit of lint from the tacky towel onto the adhesive so that um, it's a little easier to pull it up off the surface. So I should have done it a little bit more, but um, it's okay. I love how it's looking. All right, let me get all my, all my squeegees here so I can put my chalk pastes away and check in with you. It does make it look like a real sign. And somebody asked, did I make the uh, carrots out of clothespins? Yes, I did. It's super easy to do. All right, orange. and fern green. All right, let's come back to our bunny. I think let's go, okay, so this was my idea. My daughter got this big, huge flower. I don't know what kind of flower it is. She got this flower on her birthday present. Is it too big? I'll I would take the leaves off, but is it too big for the tail? I thought it would be cute, but I think it might be too big to go in place of the tail. What do you guys think? Also, I was maybe thinking about putting a couple pieces of lavender. Hi, Mary. Yeah, it's too big. Shoot. I mean, otherwise I just have little, I have these. I mean, one, is that too small? <laughs> I mean, I could do one of this flower um, but for sure, let's paint it white really quick. Yeah, it's kind of big. I'm gonna have to wait, save that for something else. All right, let's just paint it white for now. So this was a hanging sign, and I just realized I should have filled filled the hole that the string, the little twine was in. I should have filled that. 
so that it wasn't a big old hole in the ear. But what could I do to cover that? I'm thinking maybe, maybe a flower. Let's pop one of these off really quick. Come on. I guess I can't do it with one hand. I don't know. That looks kind of weird. I thought there might be a cute way to cover up that hole, but I might just need to fill it in and then paint it pink to match the rest of the bunny. Give it an earring. That's what I thought, a small bow, but it's kind of way up high. I mean, if I was going to do a bow, I probably would do it down here, you know. So let's grab... I think this is pretty dry, so I can flip this over now to the back. This stuff gets so hard so quickly. You know what I like? I prefer the spackle stuff from Dollar Tree. Okay, so I filled it in with some wood filler. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to paint over it. That took care of that. I still might add a little bow because I think that would be a really cute idea. All right, and then what do we think about one of these little flowers on the tail? One of these pink ones. Or we just leave it painted white. This is the little flower. I would cut the backing off of it. A bow would be cute further down. Yeah, for sure. What do we think about the tail? Oh, hey, Kelly, crafting and coffee with Kelly. Um, if I miss your comments, I apologize. It's hard for me to look there and craft in a decent amount of time. So um, I will come back and respond to your comments afterwards. Let's get my hot glue gun ready to go. Because even though this is a different pink, I think it'll be cute. Oh, the other thing I was maybe going to do, I pulled out to maybe do, is to put the word spring on here. Yay or nay? I have Scrabble tiles to spell spring. What do you guys think? Yes, the purple. I want to do this lavender like, like down here. So what do you think about the spring? Oh, a necklace. That would be cute. I don't have letter beads. Now I wish I did. Is the Are the Scrabble letters too much? You can't really see them that well. They're pretty light, but I don't know if they go with the pattern that's there. Nah. <laughs> we don't need words on everything we make. Okay, let me cut this off. Oh, that's not heated up yet. What am I doing? Okay, so that's going to go there, and then I need my clippers. So 
So I think what I want to do is put like some tumbling tower blocks behind the feet here so that, yeah, that's what I thought too. Okay, so let me show you the other thing I have. This was sage. I think what I could do is use a darker, like that firm green. Did I keep them out? I had... Oh, here they are. These are called spring words. And I was maybe going to use these to say hello spring. So if I have a little bit of floral down here. What do we think about hello spring, but with the darker green, the, the fern? Oh, no, that's what I used. That's what I used. But I do... I have an army green or I could do hmm what other color purple to kind of match the lavender I could do purple stand out too much are you talking Patricia are you talking about the um the Scrabble letters they stand out too much I think those would look pretty with purple. Purple lace. Do you think it'd be dark enough, Amy? Or do we go wild plum? So I have these three purples. I just don't think that's going to be dark enough on the pink. Um, I did do fern. Oh, no, that was sage. That was sage that I did. It wasn't fern. I want to do fern green. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're going to put hello spring. All right. That's so funny because I originally was going to do this and I'm like, oh, maybe I should do something different like Scrabble letters or something. So the... The pattern was a little bumpy, so the words aren't super crisp, but I like them. I think they're cute. I think it's going to look really, really cute. All right, let's see if this is warmed up yet. Let's glue our, our flower down on the tail. All the layers including this little thing in the middle. Adorable. The tiles. Peppermint is paste, but it's like bright green. It's like Christmassy green. <laughs> I don't think that would be the right color for this. And the fern kind of matches the green on the uh, lavender leaves here. All right, let's dry this.
Okay. Okay. So yeah, the words are a little bumpy because of the pattern, the texture of the pattern. But I think it's still gonna look cute. See if I need to tack this down in one more little spot here. How pretty is this bunny? Okay, now do you think the bow, do you think I could do the same ribbon that I have this? Or would that look too bold for these soft colors? I could do um, like a tan, like a burlapy color. Let me just cover up that wood filler. Perfect. I think I got it all in there. There, now you won't be able to see that hole that was in the ear. All right, so what do we think for the bow for the bunny? I also have like a darker pink burlap ribbon. Oh, thank you, Patricia. The top, oh, the tiles. Yeah, the, the scrabble. Oh, get on there. There we go. You know how when you're trying to put the lid on a jar and you just can't get it lined up the right way? All right, we are almost done. Let's just clear some space here. So again, if you want a list of the supplies, I, oh, I was gonna sneeze. <coughs> the supplies I ended up using, let me know that in the chat or the comments if you're watching the replay. We're going to glue our carrots on here. What do you guys think about that? Slide it up a little bit away from the 25 cents. Isn't that cute? Oh, thank you, Rita. That's what I thought too, Robin. That's what I thought too. And I'm just thinking like one bow right here at the top of, or at the base of the ear. So let me grab that. That one's too small. Here we go. Or do I need two? One for each ear. Now, if I do them tiny, one, do you think I should do one or two? I can make this a little bit smaller and do one at the base of each ear. You can't really see because my finger's in the way. If I did one and two, try it with two. Kelly says one. Oh, a bunch of you say one. I need to make it a little bit bigger than I think. Let's see what it looks like with one. Just one.
I do kind of like having the tails a little bit longer. The tails of the bow, that is. This is turning out so cute. I love these two projects together. Are you ready? Bunny. And the sign, I feel like the bunny should be facing the sign. Aren't these so cute, you guys? I do love the flower for the tail. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some like tumbling tower blocks and glue some here to make like a little ledge so that this can stand up. But I'm only gonna do them in the back because I don't wanna cover up the pretty lavender flowers here. I could tie these projects in together even more if I added a little of this boxwood greenery, if I stuck some of that in here with the lavender, if I needed to do that. Burlap flower you made on Monday night. Yes, I would definitely want to make a smaller one though. I can maybe put that down in a corner or something like that, but I love this. So Natty, did you just get a notification 45 minutes after I started? <laughs> you need to check your notifications. All right, guys. I am so excited with these projects. Thank you so much for all your help. I know you can hardly see the pattern. There you can see it a little bit better when I hold it close. It's just so, so subtle. And I will spray both of these. I love the clothespin carrots on here. Lavender by itself is great. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Stephanie, if you're still on, send me an email, um, monarchmomdiy at gmail.com, and we will get you signed up, okay? And if anybody else has any questions about possibly becoming a creator, let me know that as well. All right. Oh, yeah, Natty, you catch the replay. Lavender, I'm not sure where those are from. I don't think so. I think they're either Hobby Lobby or I got them at a thrift store. Because I think there's more on here than would be on a Dollar Tree one. But Dollar Tree sometimes in the spring does have something very similar to this that I've used a lot. I think I even bought a box of them last year because they were really, really good florals. All right, everybody, you guys have a great rest of your night and happy Friday tomorrow. Bye.